Hi, potato. Welcome in. It's been a hot minute. Hope you've been doing well, man. A long time. Wait, what was the last time you chatted? Bruh, July? Sheesh. I'm glad you're here, though. We were just talking about you the other day. We weren't talking shit. Let me clarify. <laughs> we were just like, what are, who are some chatters we haven't seen in a while? And then we're like, oh, where's Potato? Mod check? <laughs> it's funny, because whenever, like, there's been times in the stream we're like hmm, i wonder where this person is like they'll just randomly chat <laughs> like there's been a few times where like we've talked about like cokes or dkid and then they're like hey i'm here and it's like oh gasp okay i feel attacked i just got a bed and jerry's ad on instagram and i usually get talentini i like gelato but Ben and Jerry's has this pumpkin cheesecake flavor that it says like limited batch and it's so good I'm a sucker for holiday flavors. I don't like the pumpkin coffees, but the pumpkin ice creams. Holy I 
will wait 30 more seconds. Because I'm live like 10 minutes early. On time for once. Am I right? Okay, three, two, one. Guys, I'm live. Good morning, good afternoon. Hope everyone is doing well today. Thank you, Potato, for chatting in the Just Starting Soon screen. It is Thursday. It is very cold. I was out doing errands basically all day yesterday, and silly me, didn't think it was gonna rain, so I wore like a cute coat, but it was not waterproof. And I got out of the first shop and it was pouring. So I was like, shit. Because I was also wearing joggers that weren't waterproof either. My shoes are waterproof, thankfully. So, I had to walk, like, not even half a block, and I was completely drenched. Like, it soaked through my coat, my socks, my shirt. It was bad. And then, at the bus stop, like... Because it has, like, a metal frame and then, like, plastic slash glass. I, I don't know what it's called. But they're always, like, broken in, so there was, like, no shelter. It was either like you stand under the coverage and get a little bit of drizzle because it's sideways rain or you stand out in the pouring rain. And on top of that, at that particular bus stop, there was a huge puddle on the road. So anytime our car went by, you'd get splashed. It was dumb. I don't have a cold though. I feel fine today. I was able to get home and like wash up. But holy, I miss the summer weather. Like yesterday was the only time I thought in a long time where I was like, I need to drive. But, I don't know. A car is expensive. I'd have to get like an EV, because gas is crazy. What else, what else? Today we're doing Spirit Fair, a story game about being a undertaker. It's cute though, don't worry. Um, because today I have to get ready for Saturday's stream. I have to go buy some things. No spoilers, but I'm going to be buying some cookies. Um, if you guys- Oh, subathon! Um, how subathons work, if you cheer bits or gift or regularly subscribe, it adds timer to the time we did this last year in August. So that'll be this Saturday at 10 a.m. PSD. 12 hour cap, you guys can make me stream for 12 hours straight. Something that I've done before. But, <laughs> that'll be Saturday. Long stream, hopefully. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, also, Emmy is doing a subathon on Saturday as well. But she made her stream like an 8 hour minimum. 8 hour minimum is insane. Because like imagine you do a subathon and you get like no subscriptions. Which is a no. Like you'd still have to stream for 8 hours. <laughs> um, Just as a spoiler, my minimum will not be 8 hours. It's going to be a lot less than 8 hours. So that's gonna be on Saturday. I think tomorrow, if I'm up for it, I'll do a work sim stream. I wanna see if I can find like, no spoilers. I wanna see if I can find like a construction vest, like you know, the bright orange and ye yellow ones, and then like a lab coat. So I might go thrifting later today, I don't know. But I don't know if they would like have that at a thrift store. You'd probably have to turn in your uniform after you leave a job. And I'm not gonna spend like $50 on a costume, because they're gonna be like shit. Yeah, what else? I don't think there's anything else. No big drama. Oh my god, okay, last night. We can start. We can start the game. I'm stalling already. Okay, Spirit Fair. Using my Sugar Daddy Joy Code. I'm gonna say that every time. Damn, 9% done. Sheesh. It is so cold in our house right now. Like, the thermometer says 62, but it's freezing. I do have a blanket on my lap. Ooh. Something new! 
Oh. Francis says it's your lucky day. How lucky you must be. I've got a new errand just for you, fresh off the presses. Have a look-see. I'm immensely chipper to see a dynamic young lady being so hard at work. Not that Sharon wasn't a true professional, but his manners were... Well, a bit... Cold, if you know what I mean. And he kept everything he found. What a pity. But you're here now. Huzzah, if I dare say. Oh, and don't fret, budding mariner. If ever needed, old Francis will never be too far. Don't let me be an imp impediment to your appetite for adventure. Go on, set sail, little blue jacket. Okay, he said the same thing last time, so I guess I don't have to talk to him. Errands. Okay, carrots and turnips. I think, honestly, I need glems right now. So I think even if I lose produce, it's fine. Ooh, citrine. Yeah, I'll just complete whatever missions he has. Easy. I am rich. Yeah, so I think since for his errands you can get like fit or you have to give him fish or produce, I just won't sell anything else unless it tells me to sell it. Yeah, everything else is raw materials. His odd seams are scammed. They don't give you good shit. Okay, let's get out of here. Okay, current objectives the icebreaker. Add the icebreaker upgrade to your boat, which I need materials from the um, loom and the wood mill, I think. Big stove, improve the kitchen. Find a second sheep. And then one more gemstone. Yeah, so that is gonna wait. So I guess we're just traveling around. Hi, Kobobo. Welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Hi, hon. Okay. So, I think I want to just explore, like, the limits of the map and see what happens. Oh, this map is huge. Okay. Also, some new areas. I think I'm gonna work my way around to the right. That way we can end our way up here and see, like, what monetary things we need to upgrade. Okay, so first, I think I'm gonna see what I need to upgrade. That way I know what to craft. Okay, I need one more- oh, <laughs> 11 more linen fabric! Dude, I can't read. <laughs> okay, so I think in the background I'll just work on like upgrading every building I have. Okay, I need a lot of linen. Oak planks. More linen. Okay, so remind me, I need linen and oak planks. That is your guys' job. The map is huge, yeah. And once we get the icebreaker upgrade, it's gonna get even bigger. Oh yeah, I was gonna see if I can... Craft another field. That's what I was gonna do. 
I think I need to upgrade, like, the space I have on my ship first, though. Because if I have another field, then I'll just grow linen in that one. So anyway, so I'm starting to leave out cat food for the neighborhood strays. And I finally saw one last night. I was so excited. I can't show you guys because it shows like our front porch. <laughs> um, but it was like, it was mostly black. It was the black cats that have like a patch of white and like the white little mittens. It had that for a pattern. And I was taking pictures and it looked at me. So I switched to video mode and... The cat and I held eye contact for like five straight seconds and then it ran away because I was looking at it from like inside and as I went to look at the video, I did the classic, I didn't press record because you know how when you switch from camera to video, why can't I go to sleep? Oh. So I didn't record the video of the cat looking directly at me. I was so sad. That's so magic. I'm a scrub. And then this morning, <laughs> silly me. I decided yesterday I was gonna make um, Swiss steak for myself. I'm making other stuff for the kiddos because, you know, I've been craving some beef. And it has to be slow baked in the oven for like three hours. So I set an alarm at 5 a.m. for me. That way it'd be done by like 9. And I remember my first 5 o'clock alarm went off and I was like, why is it going off? And then I went back to sleep. But of course, I set another one. For like 5.15. I was like, oh! I'm waking up early to cook. <laughs> oh, great. Jellyfish are here again. Remember, you just have to crash into them to make the light burst out. You won't get hurt, and I will feel queasy. I know they will get back. I know they will be back, but at least it will buy me a little bit more time. What do you say? Don't be scared, Stella. They'll be coming straight for us. Don't worry, I'll protect you. <laughs> I think this is the best place to be because I can fall down easily. Okay, this is actually a horrible spot because you can't like drop down the ladder. is clear. We lived. Mm. 
Guys, it's 11 11. Make a wish. The only thing I don't like about this weather is since it's getting colder, my feet are falling asleep a lot more. I might have to start wearing shoes inside, which sucks. I hate socks. I'm not happy. Because, okay, since the HVAC machine, our landlord is just not going to fix, he's decided he's just going to get us like an in- like an in-window, um- unit but that's just to like cool the air that that's not a heater right so we're gonna freeze it's better to be cold than hot i agree but my toes are asleep right now and it's very uncomfortable. It's fine though. I got a blanket on my lap, I'm cozy. Oh, this is so relaxing. God damn it. Oh, so if you line it up properly, you get an extra one. Hi, Chip. Welcome in. You're on your break? Eh, yeah, just keep the stream on in your headphone. But hi, Chip. Can we get some yo's? Damn, I got 50 thread. I think I'm gonna keep 10 thread, just in case. Actually, I'll keep 15. I lied. I always lie. I love lying. <laughs> okay, the speed is slightly different on the linen. What'd you do for a Thanksgiving stream? I don't think I did anything. Oh, you know, okay, the reason why we didn't do anything for, for Thanksgiving is because I literally moved to this unit on Thanksgiving Day. We're for sure gonna do Halloween streams, but I don't- what- what can we really do for Thanksgiving? Because Thanksgiving, like, if you look at what it is, it's kind of bad. Like, it's celebrating colonization, which we hate America. Oh, shit. Because I, I think I have like five ideas to do Halloween streams. Because I want to do like a week or a week and a half similar to like last year. Okay, she wanted to talk to me. Hey. Do you want me to stop weaving? I'll do something else then. Oh, so No, that's not- I'm sorry. Oh, she's hungry. I'm sorry. Oh, I think she had the quick speech bubble because I was she wanted to weave. Dude, she's kind of a bitch. <laughs> Don't get me started on fruit. They've ruined some of my best dresses. Shrimp cocktail. Now, this is a fine dining experience. You're on your way to another Michelin star. Dude, she's kind of mean. <laughs> okay, I checked my phone, and for some reason, the last screen I was on was my alarm settings. <laughs> Oopsie. It's 11 a.m. You should be up by now. 
also earlier because this i don't know what this is called but it's like a sheer like a layer top i accidentally sat on it so when i was adjusting like in my seat i accidentally tore it a little bit like it's fine like you can't see it i tore like the inner seam here so the sleeve is just like a little bit bigger than it's supposed to be That's why, like, if I'm- okay, if I'm gonna buy new clothes, it's gonna be cheap. And if I- because I usually try to get, like, thrifted or secondhand clothes anyway, because, like, not that I ruin my clothes, it's just accidents happen. Like, I know I'd be a lot more upset if I tore, like, a $50 shirt than, like, a thrifted shirt. Oh, I missed what he was gonna say. There's no ice bug. Where to next? Ooh, that looks evil. I'm so excited to get all the other upgrades. Because before it seemed like all you had to do was fishing, but there's so much, like, there's so many tasks to do. Stella, my stomach is rumbling. Would you have anything to nibble on? I would prefer something else. Oh, I gave him raspberries last time. Okay. Strawberries, then. Oh, thank you. I was quite hungry. Oh, he wants to talk to me. He's probably hungry, too. Did you forget about that kitchen? It really needs to be improved. Okay, I, I'm working on it, Bozo. Like, you can only do so much in a day, man. Yeah, I need oak logs. Or planks. Oh, this is gonna be so bad. I've always thought woodworking would be fun. But I know I'd be bad at it. I also think I, I'd probably hurt myself by accident. Because I had a phase about two years ago when I was into like polymer clay. So I was making like little polymer clay, er clay earrings. I was planning on selling them, it fell through. Oh well. Oh, I wasn't looking. And in order to, like, attach jump rings to it, you had to drill holes in the baked clay afterwards. And there was one time where I didn't hold the clay piece down hard enough on my cutting board. So it was, like, spinning around the drill bit on the cutting board, and I got really scared. And thankfully, I didn't, like, fling the tool, because that's bad. But I, I just quickly turned off the drill. But still, it was scary. Because it wasn't like a high power drill, it was just like a little handheld one. But I was still scared I was gonna like blast my hand off or something. And I know with, with like more heavy duty wood tools like saws and shit, there are safety guards. But you know, I think I'm good. I feel welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Hello. I'm just sawing. <laughs> Oh my god, perfect! I 
as I'm sawing, I think it's um time for me to remind everybody, if you are new here, follow. You get cool emotes and you get to type in chat. And if you're already following, make sure you have notifications turned on. That way you don't miss a single stream. Okay, I'm never gonna get the timing down on this one. Surely one day. I can't wait till we get more characters. Like my my favorite part about this game still is the story aspects. Like the main reason why I want to do the missions is just so I can know more of the lore. Oh, when he plays music for them, they grow faster. Hmm. I think I can upgrade some of the buildings now that I have linen and planks. Finally, now Atul can stop complaining. New kitchen unlocked. We're gonna upgrade on tools workshop. Wow, he now has a shower. <laughs> Does that mean he's just been stinky the whole time? Okay, we're gonna upgrade Gwen's lodge because she is our favorite. This game is so cute for having such a dark story. I am I am scared it is gonna get a lot darker. Like once it's time to send some of our friends away. I might cry. I don't know. We'll see. I bet one dollar that I'll cry. And if I don't cry, you guys owe me one dollar each. Peace cries on stream. Does anybody remember the last time I cried on stream? Do spirits get stinky? I don't think they're spirits. Or it's either like they're spirits or they're like an alternate like reality of themselves. But they must be stinky if there's like a shower head option in the house. They're probably just really dusty, so musty rather. Stella Hmm. Lore? There was something else I wanted to talk to you about. Look, I'm still really grateful to you for having allowed me to reside in such a nice cabin. But I must admit, it's just a bit empty. You know me, I've spent my life surrounded by pointless and tacky things. But in a house like this one, I believe we could do something very special. Unique. With class and coziness. What do you think? A little bit of improving might do the trick. Fabulous. I'll leave you to it. No rush. I literally just upgraded your house, bitch. Thank you for the lurk chip. <laughs> Wait, I, mean, I had a joke. I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> you should check out Polya. Okay.
Okay, I will write that down to look up. Look up. I put YP. Look up Polya game. Because even if I don't play games on stream, I, I still need games that I should play offline. right at the border. Nice. What's my favorite story game besides Eastward? That's not fair. That's not fair at all. I think my other main story game that we played on stream has been Amori. I am still really tempted to go back and replay it. Like on my own. Or maybe, maybe I'll replay it for stream, because <laughs> Loki doing the voices was really fun. Like, hey! Amori! Or maybe I'll just play Amori after like a year, similar to Eastward. Because when I, when I played Amori on- or sorry, when I played Eastward on stream, it was my second time playing it. But she's got her little mask on. <laughs> I think I'm gonna do some cooking. I can mix things now? Wait. Yes, when we watched the Nintendo Direct, dude, I lost my mind when they showed the Eastward DLC. I'm so excited. Wait, I can cook? Sawdust? Okay, bottom line, core discovered. Okay, yes. Wait, I wanna see where we're at. Stop the boat! Eastward DLC, first time hearing about it? They announced it during the Nintendo Direct. I think a little over a week and a half ago. Or it could have been last week? Ooh, another main city area? Fog. Yeah, definitely look up the trailer for the DLC when you have a chance. And if you haven't played Eastward, um, go play it. We love indie games. Because the SAG after Union, if they strike... Or, if they continue their strike, um, they're also, um, striking against gaming companies. So all the big name games, if they don't come to a consensus for better deals, for, like, compensation and residuals concerning gaming, um, a strike might start next week. So no more Fortnite, no more Fall Guys, no more, no more EA streams, even though I've never played. Because I had no idea that was happening, because, like, I keep up with some news, but... I don't know. Because <laughs> I remember Scootish was talking about it. I was like, no way! <laughs> Where would we be without our peace FIFA streams? Dude, I know. What if I became a FIFA streamer? <laughs> be so dumb. 
I don't even know shit about sports. It'd be such bad commentary. Looking good. You got that done quick, Sprout. Thanks for taking the time. A good kitchen is a good investment. You'll see. You won't regret it. I promise. Well, my stomach either. Thanks. I thought you loved football? No, I like football. Big difference. There's too much CTE with American football. And I don't want to get my ass beat. A new area, everybody. Isn't EA losing the FIFA license? Maybe? I don't know. I don't play those games at all. The only time I see those games is in like an Aiden Ross clip. That's the only time I see it. But okay, I don't seek out Aiden Ross content. Let me let me clarify. It just shows up on my Twitter timeline sometimes. I can go up here. But I cannot jump high enough. Damn. Oh, Mario Strikers? I played it for a little bit with my sister for 20 minutes and we both got bored so we returned the game. Your stuff, if I recall correctly. I never forget a face, especially if they have shiny glems. Don't be shy. Have a look if you fancy. Oh, you're not selling anything. What? You lie. You're not selling anything. I'm looking to buy some thread. I can make you thread. What is this? The time has come, my friends. Let's trample the thorns of inequity. Let's burn the tangling ropes of low-wage employment. Let's tear down the golden walls of the upper class. Based! Based! <laughs> Your conditions have been appalling. It's time for you to revolt. Let's show this capitalist pig that it's your work that creates wealth and value. Your work that makes him a prophet. And he is the one living off of your backs. And Mardings off! Let's break his knees! We will never surrender! Don't, do not despair, my friends. Together we can reverse this unjust stream of enrichment. Together, we can finally give the power back to the working class. Mm -hmm. Power you deserve, and wealth you should benefit from. Time to claim what is rightfully yours, my friends. Yeah, let's find as well. An extra ten minutes for a lunch break. They're either like a seal or a lot. I think they're like a seal or a walrus, based on the shadow. I never played the GameCube or the Wii one. Am I fake? Should I find the Wii one? There's a few, like, like gaming stores in my area, like, non-GameStop ones. Because in my hometown, there's only a GameStop, but in the town I live in now, there's, like, two or three, like, retro gaming shops. And they have some Wii games, but they're just, like, dumb ones. You played the worst one? Oh, no. Oh, no. Did you have Mario Sports Mix? No, but I remember watching, like, a parody video of it. Oh. Mm -hmm. Hello there. You've come to join our protest. Yes, sir, I hate capitalism. Mm -hmm. Good. Come on in. 
I even have a little something to ask you since you've just arrived. You'll find up there the CEO of this company. He fled to his office and he won't come out. Coward. See if you can convince him to face his employees and have an honest dialogue with them. We won't budge before these conditions have improved. Oh. Hey, Sprout. Look at that fuse box. The glass is all busted up. That's not up to code. If I were their union leader, believe you and me. I'd make their I'd make that greedy boss eat his own shoes. Damn. Yeah, I think there's gotta be some type of flying upgrade. Well, I guess that has to wait. Hmm. I'm probably not supposed to be here anyway yet. I will always stall the main missions as much as I can. I just like exploring the world whenever I first get a new game. If we were to stream, we'd probably do GameCube. I think that's a good niche to get into. It'd be hard to like build an audience though. But as with any type of content creation, as long as you're having fun. That's all that really matters. I think the only game I played on a co or on the GameCube was Mario Party, and it was at my friend's house when I was in like third grade. I never had one. My first ever console was the Wii. That's why, like, I'm very biased. What's for dinner? My stomach is rumbling. I see you got some new equipment in your kitchen. You've got the tools to feed an army. I just need a little pick-me-up. Something that'll keep me going for hours. Some pork chops, maybe? If I had access to my kitchen, my spices and market back home, I could whip up something. I just don't know what's possible over here. You just have to make it up as you go along. That's what cooking is. Lying that doesn't come back to haunt you. Wise words that your great-grandma once told me. What a lady. <laughs> okay, what does that mean? I don't think I can even make pork chops. Yeah, I don't have pork. Should work on like cooking things in the background. Let's do rice. Ooh, rice and shrimp. Shrimp fried rice is always good. Okay, any fried rice is good, let's be honest. Oh wow. I didn't realize the map expanded this far. Oh, there's not even icebergs here. It's just a border. Hmm. Alright, so we don't need to go here. Oh, wait, he might have errands. Never mind. Because since I don't fish the most, I, I don't get immediate... Since I don't fish as much, I don't get many, like, random goodies to sell. Scootish's subathon has been two days long? Yeah, it's crazy. And no, I will not be doing a sleeping stream. Stream ends 
at latest like 11 p.m. on Saturday. I will not be doing a sleeping stream. Don't Sag, I don't want to show my ass on camera. <laughs> be a slumber party no no just because you think it's wholesome doesn't mean other people will also i hate the idea of not being able to moderate chat like i could assign temporary mods but i'd i'd still be scared Just so eight hours of your mods. That is probably the other the, the other solution I could do. I could do. Next year we'll do a longer cap. Oh shit! I wasn't looking at the screen. <laughs> Oopsie. Squid. I didn't even think I sleep for eight hours. I sleep an average like six hours, seven hours on a good night. Something in something is in the oven. Good morning, Stella. Okay, I think I just need to be cooking things in the background. Ooh, southern broil? Oh my god. I have yet to try gumbo. But I really want to. That's like the only like southern food I want to try. else to combine can I cook sawdust it just makes grits good morning honeybee what's in gumbo what makes gumbo gumbo um only thing I know about gumbo is from what I saw in the Disney Princess and the Frog movie. All I know is that it's like a savory hodgepodge kind of spicy stew. Usually with seafood. Watch the Princess and the Frog movie again. Because that was one of the first few movies I ever saw in theater. Okay, I think... Mm, I need more lightning in the bottles. So, we'll go here. That way we pass through the storm. And scare everybody. You know who else is gonna get scared? <gasps> the non-subs. Guys, we are an hour into stream, so it's time for me to run some ads. You can avoid that ad by subscribing 
with a September discount where you can get up to 25% off a tier 1 or for free with an Amazon Prime. Guys, click subscribe, see if you have a Prime sub available. Also, Oilers um, gifted subs are discounted as well. Smile. Get some water, get a snack. We'll see some of you guys in a few. I think I want to up my ring light. I'm a bit dark. Yeah, that's a little bit better. I don't want to up my ISO too much because it's going to make me like a bit blurrier. Love the new art in the background. Thank you. I think since the art website is on a mini hiatus, I'll just switch out the paintings like once a week. Just so we get a tad bit variety. Quick! A lightning storm! Don't be scared. Wanna catch as many bolts as you can. That's a spirit. Just stand below each hit. A yes sir. Something's in the oven! <laughs> Oopsie! Interesting. Like okay, a sawdust makes coal. Good to know. I don't necessarily need coal right now, though. Let's combine turnips and shrooms. little forager salad. Oh my god, I thought I died. In game, of course. There's a new type of barrier. Okay. So, this blue barrier is ice. Clear on the map. This barrier here is coal. 
But it's not as clear on the map. I think I want to try and cross back this way. Because I don't- I didn't touch the border. Visually on the map, if it there, if there is like a barrier, I assume it's gonna be like rapids or something. Hmm. Weird. Mushroom salad. Oh, okay, so you can only combine certain ingredients with each other. Can't combine strawberries with anything. Lettuce and mushrooms. Almost got too greedy. Oh! An eel? Ew. Half the time, I like look away from my game screen on my TV to look at chat. <laughs> and it makes me mess up half the time. Okay, now there's fog. I can't see a thing. Is this the afterworld? With a Harry Potter movie. Okay, so I guess on the map, any type of dashed line is a border you cannot cross. So I just have to work around any dashed line. I've got a surprise. I was hungry as usual, so I did something about it. I went outside the boat and gathered some berries, but I went a little overboard. I have too much. Here you go. Have a wonderful day. Easy. He's my favorite uncle. I have a distinct memory of me being in sixth grade, and I was telling my friends, I was like, yeah, this aunt is my favorite aunt because she buys me, like, toys all the time. And my friend was like, Isn't that kind of like buying your love? And little sixth grade me was stunlocked. I was like, oh my god. I was like, does she actually love me? Like, my friend unknowingly gave me an existential crisis. Because my family, we were, we were never very affectionate with each other. But that's just whatever. Different people are... Have different levels of affection. Oh. <laughs> I couldn't see the red.
That's very humbling. I mean, I think it's because little me thought, like, gifts were important. Because we were brokies. Like, the only time my parents bought us anything was during, like, Christmas and then school supplies. Otherwise, we weren't allowed to, like, get little treats or anything. So whenever we'd see our, like, our relatives, they'd always bring us toys. And that was cool. Okay, corn and leek sounds bad, but I'll make it. I think it's also when you're little, you're, you tend to be like more simple and straightforward. Like, I didn't start thinking more critically or, I guess, more emotionally, like, in terms of, like, interactions until, like, 8th grade. Which I know is not very common. It wasn't that I was, like, apathetic. I was just, like, not... I didn't understand what certain interactions meant until I was in, like, middle school. There's one more. I missed it. Oopsie. I'm thinking. Oh, pork chops are the way to my heart. Well, I don't have access to pork chops. Sorry. Let's give you a southern broil. <laughs> Delicious. I had a hankering for this. Don't worry, I got you. You made crane salad. Anytime I see the word salad, I grimace. Okay, it's almost daytime. I think I'll fish instead of sleeping. Sleep is for the weak. Easy. <laughs> Sorry, I just got a promotional email for Taco Bell. <laughs> it knows what I want. Hi, Keelan. Welcome in. Can we get some yo's? I was debating if I wanted to get Taco Bell this morning, but the last time I went, that was when I ordered the strawberry cream Baja Blast thing, but they gave me the wrong size, and I didn't say anything, because it was like 5-ish p.m., so I knew they were gonna get busy since I, I didn't want to be like a bitch. So I'm like kind of anxious going back because I'm worried about like having the same worker. Because the worker, he's so nice. Like he remembers my name, he remembers me. Not because I go often, okay? I've only seen him there like three times in the past like four months. Because so, I go once a month about. But he, he remembers me, so I'm like, I'm dreading seeing him. And him be like, oh my god, I gave you the wrong thing. I'm sorry. I'm like anxious thinking about that. I don't know. I overanalyze everything. Fuck. I mean, frick.
How does he remember you if you go over a month? No, I'm just charming. I risk people up. Because even though I'm like really, oh fuck, <laughs> even though I'm like really, really antisocial and not too like, I'm fairly introverted like if I'm neutral, but if I'm in public and I'm engaging with somebody like I, I don't flirt, <laughs> but I try to be like kind and I think a better word is inviting. Like I'll have randos come up to me and talk to me and they're not like trying to fuck or whatever. Like they're just talking to me to talk to me. Because you know how you, see, how you see some people who are like, they don't look like they want to be talked to at all. You know, I don't- I feel like I don't give those vibes. Okay, so that combo made more green salad. Let's do a herring. Be nice if I could bake multiple things at once. Like different types of food. Okay, the night has not- the little timer on the top right has not moved at all. I'm going to sleep. I'm bored. I like the fishing mechanic, but only as like filler. I don't think I could fish all day in game. Out of all like the cozy games though, I think this swimming or not swimming, fishing mechanic is the best. I think the reason why the Taco Bell worker remembers me is because like I filled out two surveys that mentioned his name, like, glazing him up. Glazing him up. I'd be like, oh, this guy deserves a raise! Like, I, th I think that's why he remembers me. Because, <laughs> you know, corporate likes whenever restaurants get good reviews. And if you specifically mention somebody's name with their permission, Then, you know, it makes the manager see it. And then the managers will treat that worker better, hopefully. <laughs> the only customers I remember are either the really nice ones or the opposite. But don't count on me remembering names. I'm so bad. Yeah, I will never forget a face, but names I struggle with. And then the guy got your order wrong? Yeah, so he... He's probably gonna mention it the next time I go when he's working. <laughs> and every time I go, this guy is always there. Because he says he's always covering ships, and I feel bad. I feel awkward. I know in the big scheme of things, it doesn't fucking matter. But the little social anxiety brain I have makes me hyper-focus on it. How would he know if he got it wrong, though? Um... If anybody has worked customer service where, like, you make orders, or if you worked in shipping where you, like, have to put orders together in a box, I specifically remember every time I messed up. Like, I can't recall the specific instance, but I can recall a few times. Because whenever you have, like, a proficiency rate of, like, maybe 90%, where... Or even like a 95% where you only mess up like once every few days. Like it's it stuck with me for a while. And I think in my whole time at Subway, I only botched an order like five times in three years. So I remember most of those five times. <laughs> because it's just like human nature to like remember negative interactions because it's like a survival tactic. So just in like modern society, like that's why some people are more... Um, not sensitive, but more, like, aware of, like, negative interactions with people or anytime they mess up. It's also, like, a- it's- it's, like, self-confidence, too. Like, definitely when I was working at Subway, I didn't have as much confidence as I have now. So, even more so, negative interactions would stick with me. I think- I guess the present example of that now would be like if anytime I get like a negative comment on like YouTube or whatever, like those stick with me, but I don't let them like dwell on me too much. Like, I usually just delete them and then I never think about it again. But I think especially 
the reason why I can remember like the times of me messing up at Subway is because that usually like, usually like affected a person. Like if I got like a delivery order wrong, or I see that like like let's say for example like the Uber Eats driver doesn't get like one of the key items, I'm like oh. I'm either gonna have to deal with that situation later, or I'll, I like ruin somebody's order. Cause I know whenever I get delivery, I'm like sad. Like I'm like, I don't wanna go out, I just wanna stay home and chill. And I get really sad if like my, my order is missing something or if like something is wrong on the ticket. So all I can think about in those moments is like, oh, I ruined someone's day. Even if it's just like a fucking sandwich, it's still like stuck with me whenever I did mess up. And it's kind of wild because you would think that's like low stakes. Like me messing up an order, like for getting a cheese or something, like they're not gonna die. They're not gonna get hurt, but it's still like hurting their feelings. That's why like, I don't, ooh, fish curry, yummy. I don't think I could ever work in an environment where like, this is why I didn't pursue like any medical things. Um, Cause like, I could have, like, if I would have worked really hard, I could have, like, gone into the medical field because that's what my parents are kind of pushing for. But then they were like, oh, you're not, like, smart enough to handle it, which is valid. <laughs> um. But anyway, like, if you mess up in a restaurant, like, you're just, maybe someone will get sick. But that's, like, the worst that could happen. But if you mess up in, like, the medical field, like, people could actually get hurt. So, I- I just can't do it. <laughs> Going back to the main question, so he probably remembers that he messed up on my order. Probably- because if you remember the customer, then I feel like those interactions stick with you a lot more. Like... Looking back at my times at Subway and at the pizza place, like, I only re I don't remember, like, any of the really bad customers. Like, I only remember one bad customer. But that's because he was, like, he was filming us. Because, okay, to reiterate the story, what happened was, apparently he came in one day when I was really busy, and this was during pandemic, so our bathrooms was closed. And so he asked if his family could use the restroom. We said, no, he can go next door. They have a restroom. And then he got mad. And then he came back the next day, like, filming us. Like, he was going to do one of those Karen-ass videos of, like, getting the workers to react, right? Um, so he started filming us. And the girl who was working was a minor. And she was not on shift when the incident happened the previous day. So I was like, hey, she's a minor. Um, please don't film her. Um, so I instructed her to go to the back room. And I was like, hey, I'm sorry. Like, please don't film. If you have any issues, like, take it to corporate. Like, like filming us is not going to do anything. It's just making you look like the asshole. I don't get why people do it. Like, it's different if the worker, like, pops off. But if the, the customer is, like, initiating the altercation, then I think that's highly inappropriate. Like, more often than not, the worker is just doing their job or doing what the manager tells them to do. Like, don't get mad at the worker. Like, that's not achieving anything. Get mad at the rules. Anyway. I love the customer service. Damn, you can't mix coffee with anything. so bad when I mess up an order because all I can think about is them going home, opening the bag, and find out they have a missing item. Dude, exactly. It, it like, feels so bad. I get it, man. <laughs> because everybody can relate to that feeling of disappointment. I 
I usually don't get too upset whenever, like, an order is wrong. Like, if it's food or a restaurant, I don't mind too much because I understand, like, the workload is a bit heavier. But if- the only time I get, like, a little bit annoyed is if it's, like, a delivery order. Like, like, a physical box. Because usually they have, like, multiple people checking those orders. But if it's food, I don't care. Food is food. And it's nice because, like, I don't have an allergy, so even if I get the wrong item, I can still, like, eat it. It's fine. I'm really lucky to not have an allergy. Because my mom, she's allergic to shellfish on the seashore. So she has to be, like, really careful whenever she orders from, like, takeout. <laughs> That's a nice garden you got there. <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? Lettuce. Lettuce. Who? Lettuce in and you'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you're so dumb. <laughs> okay, let's upgrade. I don't care about you, man. Okay, I can get orchard. <gasps> Sheep corral. Yes, I can get the person. And a windmill. Oh, mailbox is the main mission. Maple- God, I need maple planks. Okay. I can craft that really quick and then come back. And then linen. I got 8k. Yeah, I need linen and then maple planks. Linen, maple planks, linen, maple planks. <laughs> the No Allergy Club. Guys, type one if you're in the No Allergy Club. I am the president of the No Allergy Club. I needed maple planks. That's what I need right now. Because I want to upgrade that before I leave. <laughs> Zero! <laughs> yeah, you can't be part of our club. Don't tell us what, our, what your allergy is, because then we know your weakness. You're kryptonite. Okay, even if you get like perfect sawing, you still get sawdust. Which make which makes sense. You have a cat allergy? I would be so sad. Oh wait, I think I do kind of have a cat allergy. But only like a little bit. It was more severe when I was younger. I think it's because- wait. The only pet we had when I was growing up was a rabbit. And I was like a little bit allergic to him, but only, only if I like snuffed up his kennel. Um. But anytime I would go to a friend's house and they had a cat, I'd always be like, I have a stuffy nose, sore throat. But as I got older, it, it didn't bother me as much. More fish curry. You aren't allowed to have your own club. Exactly. You need to have another chat or have an allergy. Then you guys can make your own club. How much RAM does your laptop have? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I know that it has one terabyte storage. Smile. I generally don't know. Because I bought this laptop... I think two years ago, and it was like one of the second best laptops you could buy. <gasps> Hi, Dotodo! Welcome in! Can we get some yo's? Hello! Um, 
I'm back in black. Hi, hon. <clears throat> okay, you can't mix coffee with anything either. Damn, I wish you could mix seafood with seafood. That'd be so good. Um, guys, we are another 30 minutes in the stream, so if you're new here, follow. You get cool emotes, and you get to type in chat. If you're already following, make sure you have notifications turned on. That way you don't miss a single stream. And a gentle reminder, I will be doing a sub -alone on Saturday. So stream ends when we run out of subscriptions. I need wool fabric and iron ingot. Don't know how to make either. 8k to upgrade the size. Oh, I needed linen! Shoot. I'll be back. Stream ends when our bank accounts run dry. Yeah, Oilers, that, that is the only time I will allow you guys to go crazy. Every other time is not allowed. The only time you guys are allowed to go crazy is for Subathon and my birthday. Every, every other time you'll get shamed when you donate. Instead of saying, like, Wo Bobo, we'll say Low Bobo. Whole chat. <laughs> nah. Okay, I have something in the oven. Saving up for an iPad? Yeah, spend money on yourselves, guys. You gotta treat yourself. Okay, I'll be honest. Out of all the tep- all the Sorry. Ooh. Booyah by- Wait, what the fuck? Boy wait. What is that called? Booyah bays? I need to look that up. Probably some type of soup. Boya bees. Oh, it's a French fish soup. It looks a bit like gumbo. I'm gonna be an iPad kid. Oh, as I was saying, I think out of all the tech I have, my iPad is the most useless. Once I got, like, my laptop, I literally never use my iPad again. And let's be honest, cell phones are almost as big as iPad minis nowadays. Are you gonna draw on the iPad chip? Yeah, are you gonna draw? I could use it for drawing, but I have a drawing tablet for my laptop, so I kind of prefer that already. I don't know, I'm very, I'm very like, nitpicky. It's also because I got my iPad as part of like my school tuition, so I didn't I didn't like go out and seek to buy an iPad. They just I used my student loans for it. <laughs> I was an iPad kid for years till I got a laptop. They're just lame bricks once that. That see that that was my experience. Like I have no real need for it now. The only time I use my iPad is if I'm reading, like, manga. Just because the screen is a little bit bigger. You have a touchscreen PC? I used to have that. I used to have one of those, like, foldable touchscreen laptops. But then, like, 
I broke it. Because, like, having to unhinge it and re-hinge it all the time, like, I think I pressed too hard on the actual screen because there were some parts of the screen that were dead. So, now whenever I- I haven't drawn digitally in ages, but I usually prefer to use my drawing tablet. Everybody wake up! Also, I'm not trying to yuck anybody's yum. I'm just talking about my experience and preference. Like, if you want an iPad, get an iPad. If you like drawing on your laptop, draw on your laptop. It's just whenever I draw, I think the main reason why I prefer like traditional or the digital like drawing tablet is because like I hold my utensils very firmly and I put way more pressure than I need to because like I'm very heavy handed whenever I work. It's just like how I am. Because I find I have a bit more control whenever I handle utensils a bit firmer. Like, granted, I am very, like, careful with my things. I'm, I'm not just breaking things all the time. Ooh, grilled fish. Out of eels, though? Okay, my only recommendation is I wish if I select and put things in the queue, it would tell me what recipe it would produce. That's the only thing I want. Oh, I can't make salad? Sad. <laughs> Peace breaks both her phones and laptops? That is slander. I only broke one laptop. Oh, Stella, can you hear my stomach? Stomach! <coughs> it's restless. Do you have a little something for me? Oh, thank you. I was quite hungry. Okay, I know you want pork chops. I don't have any, man. I'm sorry. Peason has two phones, two laptops. Have you ever thrown your phone or laptop? No. I don't- I don't throw shit when I'm angry. The only time I threw my phone was like, I threw it across the room on my bed, but then it bounced off my bed on the floor. So after that, I no longer do that. It didn't crack or- oh wait, look! Look, I'm like staring happily. Cute. Oh, can I not use the loom? Bruh. Do you want me to stop weaving? Mm. Kind of. I'll do something else then. Yeah, I, I won't go to feed you. You're hungry. Fine dining. Mm. Is that shellfish? Oh no. No, no, no. Not for me. Sorry. Okay, you don't have to go that far. Like, come on. Mm. Fish curry. Mm. Thanks, I love it. Nuts. tell you about Doug. He called me the night father died. Mom was still on the plane and he couldn't talk to anyone else. He was polite. Very articulate. We chatted for an hour or so and he cried only twice. It didn't strike me at the time but he was in a bar. Which was odd for an accountant. 
He told me father's last words were that he loved me. Mm -hmm. We never talked again. She has daddy issues. <laughs> Shame. How do you complete the game? I don't know, but on the opening menu screen it says I'm almost 10% done with missions. I don't know how many like spirits there are in this game. So we'll be playing this for a while everybody, buckle in. Because I assume early game is just gathering your resources and building up your boat. And then late game is probably more lore because you'll have more like resources. I got planks. Planks, come get your planks. I made some planks for you, Stella. Enjoy. Ooh, two. Wow, you did so much work. Wow. I can do that in like 10 seconds, man. Now I think I can upgrade to get the mailbox. Mailbox was one of the main story missions, I think. And I also have a bunch of new buildings that I can make. I think first I want to make the sheep one. I wonder if there's any way to get resources automatically. There probably is, but I think that takes away from the charm of the game. Because you're mainly supposed to do, like, your errands on the ship as you're, like, traveling. So I feel like if there was, like, an auto-collect function, then the game would get, like, boring. There could- there probably will be in, like, game, but, like, for early game, I think it's more important to, like, do the chores yourselves. Wait one second! I don't have a jug for the loom yet. I might have one soon. It's coming. I can feel it. Looming over me. <laughs> There's a spider on my wall. It's Spidergate 2023. It's a baby one though. I'll let him be. As long as he don't touch me. No! I'm so dumb! I needed thread, not... God, fuck me. Oh my god. I needed linen thread, not linen fabric. And I made it all. How many subs does the spider have? Um, I don't see no chain, so probably none. He has no clout. What did you do? 
Um, I crafted the wrong resource, because, yeah, I made the wrong thing. I did an oopsie. Now we just gotta wait until we have... Gosh. Are you pumped for the subathon? Yes, sir. It's not gonna be like anything crazy, but it's still gonna be really fun. I have like a few gimmicks planned, but nothing crazy. No clout and you're letting the spider collab with you? Yeah, you know, you gotta help your little friends out. You gotta help the no clout having asses. Okay, back to Splorn. I thought it'd be crazy. I'm sorry, I would never clickbait or lie. Okay. Because, like, what if I say, like, oh my god, this is gonna be crazy, but then it's, like, mid as fuck. I'd rather say it's gonna be, like, normal than get your guys' expectations too high, you know what I mean? Because some of them was gonna be crazier, but plans fell through. So, it's fine. You know, you can't rely on anybody these days. Nah, I can leak. Because Emmy was supposed to come over this upcoming weekend. But then she has family stuff on Saturday. And she wasn't able to do a subathon herself. Like, earlier in the month. So she's doing her Saturday evening, and then my other friend was supposed to come over to help with, like, gags, but he's sick, so I don't want to get sick. So you guys are gonna be stuck with little old me for up to 12 hours. Oh no, Emmy, cause she has family stuff that morning. And it takes a while for her to, for us, if we were to see each other, it takes like a while to commute. So no. I also thought your sister was gonna be doing it? Nah, she would never. <laughs> she wanted to do like another playing with my roommates who are totally real, not fake bit. But I was like, you know, for the subathon, it's gonna be like one of the few streams where like non subs would be able to join the game. So I was like, I don't really wanna take away from them, you know? And she's like, valid. The roomies will make a comeback one day, don't worry. Oh wait, there's nothing here, I forgot. I don't have the materials yet. Still trying to convince us you have roommates. I see. I do! You think I'd be able to have a whole, like, duplex to myself? I'd be lonely. Because back when my sister and my roommate went on the Japan trip earlier in the year, I was so lonely. <laughs> I was like, oh. Even if there was, like, less, like, responsibility for me to do, because, like, not gonna lie, they are kind of annoying. I was like, oh. Thank <laughs> you. 
let's see what I can build. Oh, I have everything I need for another field. A windmill. Harness the power of the wind and produce the finest flowers. I need marble and aluminum. Orchard. Mark your fruit calendar. It's harvest time. Oak and nebula. I don't have that plant yet. Sheep corral. Oak planks and copper ingot. A place to keep your sheep from eating all your crops. Oh. Okay. I don't have anything. That's a bummer. Oh wait, do I- Do I have a foundry? I don't think so. You have a loom? Oh, I don't have a foundry. Oh my god, it's huge. That is insane. Time to rearrange. Peace owns businesses and companies? <gasps> I mean, technically I do. My art business is a SSP. So, business is singular, not plural. But, if my Twitch or YouTube does ever take off, I'd have to make it an LLC so I can properly hire editors. Nobody cop the name. Nobody take peace in underscore 17 as a business name, please. Okay, I've got to rearrange a bit. I definitely want to build another field. Easy. Now. Forgery. Oh, that fits perfectly there, though. Oh, that's so mean. Then you'd have to pay the person for the business name. Don't give him any ideas. This is not like a Twitter username that you can buy. This is different. Aw, oh, damn. I wish that fit. That'd be perfect. Dude, this layout is whack. Okay, that works. Is there fall damage? No. I don't think there's like any health mechanic in this game now that I think about it. I mean, technically I think we're in the spirit realm, so I don't think I can die. Or get hurt. Because I literally fly into flying jellyfish unharmed. Oh 
Oh, look at my cat. She's so cute. Can I keep him? I want a cat so bad. Guys, if I ever get clouded, I will open a cat cafe. I'll do it. For the fans. Maybe I should get this game? I think it's really good. Hashtag not sponsored. I know I'm really enjoying it so far. Hold off on cooking for now. I think we have enough food. Let's see what this forgery is all about. Okay, an empty glass bottle can be smelted down to glass. Iron ores for iron ingots. And then copper is for copper ingots. He okay, rocks. Cool, you've been naughty, it seems. A very useful mineral that can, be, that, can be, that can fuel up the foundry and be used in the crusher to become a carbon powder. Oh, okay. Oh, wait. Sawdust cooked makes coal. Okay. What is this? Oh, this is cool. It's like bellows. Using the bellows was my favorite part of, like, operating the wood stove at my parents' house. hate to be living next to the forgery. How long does this take? I got errands to do, to do later. Yeah, I'm clueless. I think I'm doing this right. Finally. Two iron ingots. Now I know how that works. Not my favorite minigame, but like, visually it makes sense.
do you guys have any more suggestions for Saturday? Of just chatting-esque things to do? I'm not gonna reveal the full list. But cookies may be one of them. And artsy stuff. I I think it's better to be vague for planned streams. Because just in general, like I think my streams are fairly structured in the sense of like we do this for a few hours and then this and then bang boom done. I don't like for me doing like a longer stream where every segment is planned. Because then I feel like I have to rush through it, I guess. I'm not gonna say how we're gonna how it's gonna run on Saturday yet, because I think it's kind of fun. But it will have viewer engagement to decide what we do. What did you say? Um, on Saturday I'm doing a longer stream, so I'm going to be alternating between gaming and like activity type content, like the just chatting streams I've done. So, do you have any ideas of what we can do on Saturday? Like, things we've done in the past, just chatting, that you want to see again, or new things. The chicken nugget? I can't do a kitchen setup, I'm sorry. It will happen one day, I promise. I actually made mashed potatoes this morning to go as the side with the Swiss steak. I have a big-ass box of dino chicken nuggets in the freezer, and it's been there for months! I just don't want to bring my laptop downstairs. And I love making excuses. I'm thinking pork chops are the way to my heart. I do it. I know. I know. Painting game characters? Maybe. I can write that down. Stella. Mm. Oh lord! You know, when I accepted that promotion at Global, I genuinely thought I could succeed. And I almost did. If it weren't for my sickness... Aware. If it weren't for my sickness, I could have made a difference. Mm. When I moved upstate, I had to have my piano and my sewing machine transferred. So I stayed there thereafter to avoid the trouble. Everywhere I, everywhere I went, I ran into the Macmillans. Chad always wanted me to get out with him and his friends. But I just never happened to trust them. They're douchebags. Well, I just don't use that word lightly. Oh, how about a little snack, Stella? I'm quite hungry. Oh, thank you. I'm gonna double check my missions. Improve Gwen's Lodge. Add the upgrade. Pork chops. I need a sheep. Can't do the CEO mission. I don't have any gems. Okay, I need more iron ingots. And the only way I can get that is by going to islands to get the ores. I need to upgrade my boat in size. Okay, so I'm, I'm just... I'm grinding for now. I don't have any missions that I can do, really. You know what I can do, though? Um, run some ads. Because, guys... We are two hours in a stream, so it's time for me to run some ads. You can avoid that ad by subscribing with a September discount where you can get up to 25% off the normal $5 or for free with a Twitch Prime. Click subscribe, see if you have a discount or a Prime sub available. Get some water, get a snack. We'll see some of you guys in a few. Easy. Yeah, we'll see you in a bit, Totoro.
do five at a time? That's so dumb. That's genuinely so dumb. Why can't I do more? Okay, so I have to maintain the green in order to fill the lever. Or the thermometer. Which is kind of a lever. Easy. Okay, that was a lot easier than... <laughs> than I thought it was. Because I think it's because I messed up the first time. Oopsie. Oops, I did not mean to fall off the boat. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, so the border looks like it goes to here. So usually in the top left, I know my cam covers it, there's like a little bar that shows the distance in which you have left to travel and it's not showing so I think I accidentally disabled it. So I'm just trying to see if I can re-enable it. No, there's not. Oh, I'm here already, that's why, okay. Weird. Oh wait, okay, I did toggle off. It's it's left trigger. No. It's R1 that triggers it. That's where I messed up. Okay. I love the weather in game. Yeah, it's nice. Like, definitely the visuals make it seem less stagnant. Like, it's very much encouraging the passage of time. I know I prefer more story games that are a bit more blunt with their storytelling. I don't like subtle as much. But this is a good in-between. You're here. Ooh, what is this? I 
I don't like that. Let's get out of here. There's so much work to do on the farm. Should I play Fae Farm, guys? Be honest. I'm indifferent to it. Like, I see the appeal. But I'm still on the fence. Because it seems like it's too resource managey. y Manage GE. <laughs> I'm debating it. We have one person saying yes. Because I've only really seen the trailers. I haven't seen too much of the actual gameplay. Because I've been kind of avoiding watching content around it. I see so many ads for it though. Like on TikTok and stuff. Okay, so there's another border here. The cotton candy skies. I hate pollution, like, the only good thing about pollution is that it makes the sky pretty. Like, if humans weren't on the earth, I think the sky would just be blue all the time. And that's just a theory. A game theory. <laughs> that cat so bad dude i know it's beautiful i don't like like long-haired cats ira though i feel kind of bad for the cat i feel like they'd be hot all the time oh well i guess washington would be a better place for them to live then because it's cold as fuck here <laughs> oh this one's a troublemaker I ain't gonna let her go, though, just like Sheila. You're allergic? Oh, you can join Keelan's Allergy Club. Keelan, you found one. More fog.
when the bobber is shaking, press A to start reeling. Why is it telling me that? I'm on the boat. Uh oh. Oh, I want to talk to him. It seems like there's lore happening. Stella, my stomach is rumbling. Would you have anything to nibble on? Oh, thank you. I wanted to snoop. Finally send them to the afterlife once you fully upgrade their homes. I think that's gotta be it. I wanna keep them on my boat forever. Oh, tuna? What the <laughs> Weird, I haven't seen that yet. I'm just trying to get all the black spots off of my map. Fishing. Dude, my cat just died. Oops. <laughs> I was shocked. My cat just fell over. Delicious. When I retire, I want to become a cake decorator. And I want to make the hyper-realistic cakes. That is my dream. This game reminds me of Animal Crossing, but 2D a little bit. It does definitely have, like, farming sim aspects to it. But you're right. Welcome in, Brennan. Can we get some yo's? Welcome in. If you have any preferred nicknames or pronouns, make sure to tell me. But welcome in. You should have free em emotes in my chat. You should use them. Put your favorite one in chat. This is definitely one of, like, the cozy, like, live sim games. But this is, like, I think one of the better ones. <laughs> Peace and going on, is it a cake? I genuinely think, because... I know basic realism, it is very difficult to do, especially with like a physical medium. But if I put my heart and soul into it, I think I could get into realistic cakes. But that, I want that to be my like, my middle-aged, um, I was gonna say wife arc, but I'm not getting married. That's gonna be my middle-aged, I go to Michael's every single week because I'm bored arc. <laughs> Is it a cake stream win? Dude, how funny would it be if I do that and it just looks like ass? <laughs> That'd be hilarious. Well, well, well. A snack would be great right about now. <laughs> that would be like the funniest stream. <laughs> like, I just take it seriously the whole time and the cake just looks horrible. <laughs> 
Oh my god. Mushroom salad. Thanks. I love it. There wasn't a TikTok where it looked awful. Yeah, I've seen some of those. And they're... It's funnier when the person, like, takes it seriously. <laughs> like, I would only do it for, like, parody. Same thing with my future NPC stream. It's parody. Guys, I will be doing a, a Halloween-themed NPC stream in October. Don't worry. It's gonna happen. I'm, I'm already making, like, the overlay for it. Peace and bot is coming back. Imagine. I did. I saw an NPC stream on TikTok that was just like somebody's like PNG tuber, and it was genius. Like instead of like them actually doing like little animations, it was just them like filming their computer screen of like their VTuber doing it, and that is genius. I wish I could do that shit. Okay, <laughs> I was on the bus yesterday, right? And I deadass saw somebody watching an NPC stream on their phone. Because, like, they were sitting across the aisle from me so I could kind of see their screen. And their screen was bright enough for, like, me to see it. Because whenever I'm on the bus, I don't have a privacy screen. Um... But, like, I turn my brightness down so the person behind me can't see my screen. Not that I'm looking at bad things, it's just awkward. So, I look across the aisle, and they're, like, dead-ass, like, watching an NPC stream. And they watched it for, like, two minutes straight, and then they swiped away. <laughs> like... <laughs> Real NPC streams are scary? No, I keep on getting one recommended on my TikTok feed of, like, some guy in New York. Like, just doing it on- on the sidewalk. And, oh, I would be so scared. Because, like, I think it's normal for people to feel themselves in public. It's just, I would be too scared to do it because there's, like, crazy people, you know? You don't know what randos are going to do. Okay, so I have this whole left area to explore. Let's go in the storm first. I don't understand how people can do NPC streams for hours at a time. I genuinely think some of them are pre-recorded. I genuinely think it. I understand there are creators who do do them live. But I, I genuinely think a lot of TikTok streams are just rebroadcasts. I think the one thing I do admire about the people who do like NPC streams regularly is you have to be so shameless. Like you have to be so confident and I kind of love it. You know, get the bag. Because when you, when you're making stuff online, like why not have it be silly? And I think NPC content is like the silliest thing you can do. Like, I don't really have anything negative to say about it. Because I think the people who consume it, they're just consuming it casually. Like, they, they, I think the viewers understand that it's not, like, substantial content. Fuck. <laughs> when you run into them IRL and then shout out your channel, no, that's cringe. And I'm not cringe. You would actually do it for more than a few minutes. My goal is to do it for an hour straight. That's my goal. I think it's doable. I think the best parody NPC stream I've seen is Squeaks's. I think he has a YouTube highlight video of it, but I watched the whole stream and it's so good. He was doing bits. It was really good. Quick! A lightning storm! Don't be scared! Want to catch as many bolts as you can? That's the spirit. 
Just stand below each hit. Yes, sir. the modern day Zeus. Even if I tried, like, the NPC trend, like, genuinely, I don't think I could ever mentally justify doing it for more than a few hours. Because when it comes to your life in general, like, your time is so valuable. Like, it'd be different if I could make, like, guaranteed a couple hundred bucks an hour doing it. Like, if you have a large enough platform, that's totally possible, right? So I can understand how people can, like, muster up the courage to do it for so long. But for someone like me, who doesn't receive a lot of, or not a lot, but not, like, a astronomical amount of donations, it's kind of, like, not worth it. It's like, I'd rather spend my time editing or something. That's why, like, I've chosen to set aside more time for offline editing than actual streaming. Because I find that's where my time should be put at this time. My time should be put at this time. That sounds weird. Let's go here in the green fog. That's why you see the people who stream when they're very small, like me, for an astronomical amount of hours every week. Like, if you're streaming 40 hours a week and you're averaging less than 5 viewers, you need to be spending less time streaming.
Because, like, a new viewer is not gonna go back and watch back your streams from even a few days ago unless they, like, genuinely like you. Like, people are more likely to consume short-form content, so, like, clips or highlights. So I understand the importance of putting more time into that. Now. Ooh! Oh, it's the bus station guy. Hi! Still tripping, I see. So even if I can't stream five days anymore, I'm still producing regular content still. And I'm like excited to edit now. Which like six months ago I was like, ugh, this doesn't seem fun. Because that was when I, oops, that was when I didn't have like all the previous streams and VOD content like categorized. But now I have a list of edits to make. So instead of seeing a, a catalog of like over 200 streams, I now have like 50 to choose to edit from. So I feel a lot more motivated now to edit. And it's nice going back and looking at old streams because it's almost like I'm reliving the moment. I'm like, oh, that joke was good or that bit was funny. Or that was a touching moment. Because when you're spending so much of your time broadcasting, it's very easy to not live in the moment and be present. And just try to, like, get through it. Oh, what is this? We're in the upside down. Yeah, it's daytime. It should not be this dark. It's just the green fog. Weird. You know what else is weird? Um, watching and not following. Guys, we are another 30 minutes in the stream, so if you're new here, click the follow button. You get cool emotes and you get to type in chat. Wow. If you're already following, make sure you have notifications turned on. That way you don't miss a single stream. I see specks in the sky, and they're blue. Like the flu. <laughs> I couldn't think of anything else that rhymed with blue. I'd be really bad at writing Dr. Seuss books. Okay, I'm gonna keep exploring. My goal today is to figure out the whole border of the map that I'm in. Back to reality. this round of fishing, I want to see if I can upgrade any of my buildings, because I haven't checked that in a bit. Come on. Oh my goodness. Not the fog. I cannot upgrade the fishing station. Oh, there's different levels. Okay. 
I need an aluminum ingot. And a lot of things I don't have. Blueprint. Ooh, Monstera Deliciosa. Also known as the cheese plant. It is neither cheese nor is it delicious. Tell me. Or trust me. Oak log and leak. I can build that. Okay, so I think his house is fully upgraded now. Nice. Linen and fire glow. Linen and maple plank? Maple log. Oh, she's fully done. Easy. Now I can complete that mission. Okay, so everything is upgraded that I can. Let's talk to Stella. Her house is now fully decked out. Okay, I'm gonna get out of this fog area because that icon's gonna bug me. Does this mean Stella has to die? Stomach is grumbling. <laughs> Ooh. Raceteno Meadows discovered. Okay, let's get off here then. Stop! Stop! looks so much better as if everything had been designed with my happiness in mind the textures the tones the coziness it's perfect look at you listening to me and building such a nice cabin for me i won't forget this request completed pretty on the inside Okay, where'd Stella go? Back to her loom, as usual. Do you want me to stop weaving? I'll do something else then. Yeah, I want to talk to you. I wove some fabrics for you. Can I give you a hug? Oh, she hugged me back. Thank you. really good mood. I'm gonna miss you when you die. Okay, let's check this place out. Okay, follow me on my boat. Oh my god, it does. Holy moly. I forgot where the other lady was. Okay. I now have sheep. Um...
We mount Toyo Toroyama's enclosure. Okay, I'm just gonna go straight there. I don't want my sheep to, like, eat shit. And die. <laughs> oh, right. Okay, it's right there. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Since I have a bit of time, let's trade some goods. Any errands for me? Very nice. I'm gonna go back to the island. Hopefully my sheep doesn't eat everything. But if it does eat the crops, it's fine. I have a lot. It's it. It's gotta eat. Whoa. The color change. I think this is our first island of the day. It's been a while since we've gotten some wood. I don't get it. I've been here for days. Everyone here says that they feel something. I don't feel anything. What gives? I shouldn't have quit my job. Oh, brother. Oh. When the others aren't looking, I like to lick the rock. It helps me concentrate. Also, it's a little bit salty. Weird. Mm. Oh, wow. I've heard of this rock from a friend. He said if you, that if you stand next to it for like a week, you can become a seagull or something. Weird. I believe in, like, karma and stuff, but I don't believe in superstition. I'm too practical. It's your birthday tomorrow? Are you gonna do anything? Happy early birthday. Don't say your age, but happy early birthday. If we see you in chat tomorrow, I promise that I will not sing happy birthday to you. I can for sure do that. Or rather, not do that. <laughs> oh wait, st she wanted to talk to me! Damn it. I'm for the stupid bit. A snack would be great right about now. How about some fish? Thanks, I love it. Sheep is sleeping. Mm. Oh, okay, so I still have to feed the sheep. Go back to sleep. Sorry, hon. 
Oh, <laughs> it's so cute. Sheep are stinky, though. Whenever they'd have, like, the sheeps at the zoo, they stank. Because at our local zoo, I think you could feed the sheep and then the donkeys. You're not too sure what you're gonna do yet? I mean, you can always celebrate on the weekend, too. Everybody's working for the weekend. Dude, I remember. I had to... I think I had to work every single birthday I had. Big L. But then... The pro strat is... If you work at a job where you can get tips, just be like... To every customer, like, Oh, it's my birthday today, but I had to cover a shift. And then you'll get hella tips, I promise you. It is the go-to strat. wanted to do i guess the trend thing of going to fast food places to see where you can get free food but i can't drive so it would just be me like spending all day on the bus just to get like a free soda pop i'm gonna go to the nearby islands and then resources first before i deliver the sheep My sister's birthday is in December, and I'm trying to convince her to get a custom cake that I will buy for her, of course. Like, similar to the one I had for my birthday from the same bakery, because it's so good. It's legit the best cake I've ever had. And my sister does not like fruit filling, but she liked the strawberry filling that was inside. Oh my god, the sheep can climb up ladders. He's so smart! So, like, I'm gonna try and see. Because the bakery is, like, a local bakery and they usually do wedding cakes. So you can schedule, like, a cake testing to where you can try, like, every single flavor. So I think I might schedule one of those for her. Because, like, my sister, like, she doesn't treat herself too much. And, you know, sometimes you need that. Or you need somebody to, like, treat you for you. So I want to get her a nice cake this year. Because ever since moving out, it's like our first time is like celebrating our birthdays by ourselves. And <laughs> I posted it on Twitter last year, but the cake she had last year was just like a custom Safeway cake. Which she loved, but it did not taste good. Like, it was like the first time we ever got to like fully choose something on our own. Because usually for our birthdays, our parents would just get like a Walmart cake or whatever. Or like a cake from a bakery mall. And that's fine. But we never got to choose because they wouldn't take us to go choose the cake. They would just buy a cake and then expect us to like it. I, I don't know. It sounds mean and unappreciative, but... You know, it was nice, like, picking out cakes for ourselves. Not doing too much tomorrow, your friends are gonna play some games? That sounds nice. All the homies coming out. Pull up. Yeah, since my birthday was on a weekday, I couldn't really see my friends, right? So, stream was 
basically the closest to hanging out with friends I had. Because as you get older, it's a lot harder to, like, have all your friends in one sitting. Because, you know, everybody has their own lives. Like, it, it's sometimes even hard getting, like, three friends to play, like, video games at one time. I didn't know I could climb up there. Stella? Hey. Look, Stella, I... I'm sorry. I think I just need some space. Just a bit of time by myself. I knew going back to the villa was a bad idea. Sorry, this doesn't have anything to do with you. You've been nothing but great since you found me on that island. I just need to be alone for a little while. Oh. Okay, I'll let her be. Everybody processes things in their own way. You can't force people to engage with you. Or talk about things they don't want to talk about. I think it's funny whenever we hit crates, like, a tool always comes bounding down. Like, there's so many naval bases all throughout Washington, like, no matter where you live, there's always gonna be sonic booms. So whenever I hear, like, a loud blast, I'm like, oh, it's whatever. It could be Mount Rainier finally erupting, but I'm still like, oh, it's whatever. <laughs> booms are normal. Crashes are normal.
<laughs> Out of all the activities I do, the, the cat always falls asleep when I'm fishing. <laughs> That's silly, Billy. Stella, you said such intriguing things about this oh. tour. Well, I just had to try it for myself. And this place, how nice and serene it is. You know what? I feel strangely at home here. As if I'd already walked these woods. Perhaps in another life. Hmm. Thank you for taking the tour. Don't forget to tell your friends. I sure did. I brought one today. They heard all the lovely reviews on that Google Play Store. I still find it hilarious that this tour was all about the beauty of these trees and then we just come and cut them down every time. <laughs> want a triple jump. I don't think I've seen another place where I can turn in glens. It's just been resource islands. It must unlock whenever you get more characters. I think Stella's- oh wait, Stella's me. <laughs> I think her name is- I can't remember the- the deer's name. But I feel like she's gonna turn in soon. to go. Then we can see if we can drop off the sheep. The eclipse is so cool.
Every time we've played this so far, it seems like I'm discovering something new. And there's also so much to explore in the world. Like, the mechanic of having to upgrade your boat to explore the blocked areas, I think, is really good. You know what else is, um, really good? Watching ads. Because, everybody, we are three hours into stream, so it's time for me to run some ads. You can avoid that ad by using your September discount and getting up to 25% off a regular tier one, or if you link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch, you might have a free Prime sub available. So, guys... Click subscribe, see if you have a discount or a prime sub available. After the ad, we're gonna keep on playing. We're gonna see if we can get a new passenger by giving her a sheep. So if we don't wanna miss a single second, subscribe, get some water, get a snack. We'll see some of you guys in a few. I will never get over the 2D animations in this game. It's so good. Gwen, Gwen is the deer's name. For some reason, I think I'm keeping it's like... It's Stella, because she says Stella all the time. <laughs> Wait, the sheep just teleported up. Sheep is wreaking havoc on my ship. How dare it? Now, I think if I feed it my sheep some corn, it'll follow me. Where is that little? <laughs> Bastard. <laughs> mm. Okay, it's not following me. If this doesn't work, I'm going to be very sad. Oh, it did follow me! Yay! 
Come on, keep up. Good job. You brought a second sheep. Oh, look at them. They'll be so happy together. Oh. They're acting kind of coldly. That's surprising. Well, they just have to get to know each other. I'm sure they'll be best of friends in no time. As for me, well... It was nice feeling needed. What? You want me to join you on your travels? Oh, no. No, no, no. I couldn't possibly impose myself onto all of you. Besides, I'm sure there's no room for me. Actually, we have a whole spare room. For sure, this island is a little bare, but... I'm sure a little house could fit quite nicely here. A little bungalow with nice vines and potted flowers, maybe. With pale tones and a cozy cottage facade. Oh, and green window shades. My, that would be so wonderful. Oh, sorry I was lost in my thoughts. No, you go ahead. I'll be just fine here. A new blueprint acquired. Alice's cottage. So it seems we must build her a room. Build a cozy cottage for Alice. Alice seems eager to join me on my travels, but she does not want to bother me. Perhaps she would accept an invitation if I built her some quarters. She described a house very passionately. Okay, I'm gonna get resources first, and then we will see if we can build her cottage. I mean, it's kind of like what she has now. Green curtains. I remember there was lots of ores here. Perfect. Her cottage is so cute. I know. That's the dream. Like having a little cottage. I don't want a farm. I just want a little house. I kind of like the appeal of the tiny houses. Low key. I don't think I could ever live long term. But it'd be a cute vacation house. You know when I get my millions. After exploiting my viewers for cryptocurrency. I just do this. Oh, oh, okay, shortcut. Easy. Oh, that was the end. Okay. I know there was more to explore in those mine shafts, but I don't need to. I've already seen it. Let's see if we can build our cottage. We'd love to have you aboard, Alice. Are you from Wonderland? Okay, the live action remakes they made of Alice in Wonderland, like the the creepy ones, I hated. They're too scary. I understand that they're trying to make the appeal for like the darker remakes for like teens or adults 
but <laughs> I wouldn't want to take my kid to see it. Okay, so I need five linen and then four iron ingots. I might- I think I might have gotten more iron. Maybe? I need one more! Ugh. Okay, we're going back. If all I need is one more iron, they might be one more in that shaft. We're going back, y'all. Yeah, the stones don't respawn right away. There's one more area. Yeah, I cannot wall jump. today though because that's like literally all I need I think we'll travel to another island that has iron because I want to get it done Home Depot <laughs> oh I think I can also buy iron Let's say. Okay, so we'll talk to this guy, see if he's selling any. And then we'll try the resource island. If not, we can go to a main city because they sometimes sell ore. Or ingots. I think.
He does not sell ores. It's only at a main shop. That's fine. I'm gonna check on... Um... I forgot, I keep on forgetting her name. <laughs> what is her name? Gwen. Oh no. New request, I must be off. Find Gwen's whereabout. Where is Gwen? I can't find her on the boat. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> Delicious, I've had a hankering for this. Where's Gwen? house yeah I think I've checked every room She's gone. Okay, still no iron. What is in here? Maybe she went to an island somewhere. Where I don't know. Does she know any place in this world? Yeah, she's at she's at the villa. Oh. I don't wanna say goodbye. To the villa we go in the morning. Just head straight there. Can't waste any time. Sound? I, I assumed that was Gwen sleeping. 
But I still hear the sound, so it could be the cat. I miss Gwen. Even if she just kind of like sulked the whole time. I miss her. so much to teach me on the loom. I messed up. I burned the coal. Yeah, I need one more iron. this diamond hematite. Look, I'm nailing these just for you, Gwen. I'm literally getting so many perfects. Save for that one. Request advanced. I must be off. Talk to Gwen. I knew she'd be here. So predictable. Now humans were surprisingly complex and then also super simple.
Stella? Mm -hmm. Stella! I... I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Sorry I even considered doing this. Ending your days in your family house is so cliché to boot. Mm -hmm. I can't explain myself either. I just wanted to finish it off, you know? Mm -hmm. To decide on my own terms how I'd go. Not let myself be taken away. I've been weak. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Oh, the irony. Crap. I feel so selfish mm -hmm. now. Sometimes I wish I could have been like you. But rarely. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, crap. Hug me now. Thank you so much. I needed that. You always pull through. Hey, Elsa, you're really hungry. Hey. Oh, I forgot. You don't like selfish. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Here, shrimp cocktail. I always said you can open an upscale restaurant. Fine dining at its best. Okay, let's go home. Oh, talk to Gwen on your boat is the next part. Hey okay, Gwen, let's let's go. I ain't got all day. I spent all day looking for you. Oh, it's just a shortcut. I forgot. Now you're waiting on me. I'm sorry. come as a shock but I'm ready to leave I just can't fight it anymore mm -hmm. but it's okay I know you're with mm -hmm. me bring me to the Everdor where you met Sharon I'm ready I think oh she's not happy anymore Your request one last time. Bring Gwen to the Everdoor. Where is the Everdoor? I didn't think we'd be doing this today. Oh. <laughs> yeah, there's no real pit stops we can really make. To the ever door we go. Guys! I don't want to say goodbye, Gwen. GG's goodbye, Gwen. A lightning storm! Don't be scared! Wanna catch as many bolts as you can? <laughs> That's the spirit. Just stand below each hit. I know, sir. I know. Oh, Gwen is not gonna be able to... alert me during the jellyfish storms anymore. 
Not like this. And it's over. <laughs> Not Gwen. <laughs> Not a fan of this weather. I need aluminum and glass. I don't have any of those. Yeah, I can't upgrade anything. I can't build anything. Mm. Of course, it's raining. So I'm sad. that Gwen was someone who became ill. Like, she's alluded to it. And her character, like, looks young. Another storm. <laughs> Quick! A lightning storm. Don't be scared. But I catch as many bolts as you can. <laughs> That's the spirit. Just stand below each hit. Talking about taking hits. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Guys, we're another 30 minutes in the stream, so if you're new here, follow! You get cool emotes and you can type in chat. Fuck. I fell off. And if you're already following, make sure you have notifications turned on. That way, you can watch every single stream. Smile. Dude, imagine having lightning like this close to you. <laughs> I would freak out.
And it's over. Oh, well, we're almost here. Or are we here? Oh, it's too dark, okay. Like, no way we're at the door. But we, we still have like a third left. Top left. Of course it's raining the whole time. She hates the rain. I think we're here. Ooh, the water's red. Oh, that's so like unsettling. Glory, mm -hmm. Quinn, I'm coming for you. Stella. Mm -hmm. Okay. Here we are. I guess. Mm -hmm. I guess I had been waiting for that moment to arrive. Sooner or later. Will you accompany my me, my <laughs> Will you accompany me, my friend? Of course. Mm -hmm. Thank you. One last sewing session, please. Something I wanted to give you. I used to hide it in my old music box. I don't know why, but it always felt to me like it was the best hiding spot. Here it is. Mm. My old lighter. I haven't thought about this old thing in a while. It barely works. Mm. I stole it off father when I was 12. Please. Use it to remember me. Mm. In the good times. In the bad times. They exist together. Mm. Intertwined. If there is one thing you learned from me, it should be that. Oh. oh I can't talk to them. <laughs> okay, he doesn't say anything. Yeah, you're hungry, man. I'm sorry. You know, this is a celebration of life. It's Apollo. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Not Gwen. She can sit down. Seems I couldn't escape it, doesn't it? Me being here now? You know me. I've never been one to dwell in the past. Mainly because it always felt overwhelming to me. 
like an irrepressible wave of resentment. But even at this very moment, I still wonder. I don't know if I've ever tried to connect. And I've been so sure of it. My opinion just never changed. You know what I've always said. That people come and go, but don't pay attention to each other. They never really did. That li- that li- That lives are only ever parallel. Adjacent at best. Well, that's bullshit. I can see that now. And you're the proof of it. And not just you, but Mum cared as well. In her own way. And others here, even given the circumstances. And I still don't know about Father. I should probably forgive him now. Find that last shred of strength left in me. Would that make me a better person? Would that even make a difference? Maybe. But after all this, I don't think I care. And it doesn't matter. Because I had my best friend by my side. I had you. You are a wonderful person, Stella. My life would not have been the same without you. The light you showed me was more than a beacon. It was a guide. Only I was too blind to see it. My shades were too opaque. Okay. Let's go. I can't hold it any longer. And she's still smoking. <laughs> Classic one. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Stella. Thank you for bringing me here, even if you didn't want to. Thank you for kicking my butt and shaking my mm -hmm. ego. Don't forget that I've loved you as much as I could. Goodbye, my friend. Mm -hmm. See you there. Mm -hmm. I'm getting chills, I'm not even kidding. <laughs> Is she just gone? Oh my god. Now we'll see her all the time. <laughs> press A. Stop crying and press A. <laughs> what? Okay, I didn't die. Oh, I don't think I can make that jump. So thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. It was during the cutscene, so I didn't want to talk. <laughs> okay, I don't know if I can make this jump. Oh, I see something to the left. Okay, I don't think there's anything here. What even 
what even is this place? This kind of looks like the ending of a space for the unbound. Oh, come on! Wait, I just realized, where's my cat? My cat's gone. Oh wait, she's here. She's not following me though. I had to press A. Oh no. Oh no. Now we're gonna get like her whole story. I think she got sick. Which is hashtag relatable. Oh. Okay, middle child. Oh! A bird. But she was a deer. I lived. Peace can't park our shit up. I'm a gamer. Did she have a Gia? Lush. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god! We finally meet, face to face. For such a long time, I've been watching you, Stella. Close, yet far. You've kept your distance, but you knew I was there. Hidden in every shadow, skulking in every silence. Since the very beginning, I've been a part of you, even as my existence was but a foreign thought. And as your loved ones surrounded you with care and affection, I waited, silently. Your joy, your pride, your happiness, moments of laughter, of bliss, of friendship, gone. I know it feels just like yesterday, but the hourglass has turned, and at last, you have found me. Go now. For I have not yet fully awakened. Resume your duties. Carry on your graceful dance. We'll meet again. Soon. 
Spirit Bear. Wait, is that me in the pictures? <laughs> oh. One spirit flower. Is death looking out for me too? Yeah, Gwen's quest is gone. Let's see if I can talk to everybody. I'm thinking. Pork chops are the way to my heart. What about Gwen? Is nobody else, like, sad? Oh, he's sleeping. I guess we continue on with our journey. No more Gwen. Oh. Have plants inside too. Let's sleep it off. We don't need to think about Gwen anymore. Okay, so oh, the leaves stay. I guess we just continue on. I mean, Gwen's memory will still be here. She did give me her lighter. Oh, the blinds are closed now. It still looks the same. Okay, so... We'll continue our journey next time. Wait, this is new. Ooh, a scallop! New animal unlocked. Okay, guys, I'm gonna pause. <laughs> Save and quit. Okay, so now we have a bit more lore. Seems like we're gonna die, too. <laughs> okay, Gwen is gone, everybody. Goodbye, Gwen. I didn't think she'd be, like, gone that soon. Oh, okay. Probably because it should have taken people longer to, like, upgrade her house, but we already had the stuff. Oof. I'll miss her. She was my favorite. We started the journey together. Now she's gone! Okay, guys. Um, I streamed for longer than I was supposed to today. Oops! So, we can wrap it up here for today. If we want to do calligraphy, guys, use your channel points now. I will sing a song. What? Okay. I shall sing a song. <laughs> Peace, I do. Smile. If we still want to do calligraphy, use your channel points, guys. Did the redemption get more expensive? No. I didn't change the price of that one. Okay, I will find a song to sing. You know, I don't raise my prices for inflation. I don't do that. I'm, I'm one of the good ones. Mm hmm.
Yeah, I'm trying to find one. For a second, I thought you froze. No, I just, I can sit very still. I'd be a great, like, you know, IRL mannequin. Let's do it tomorrow. I'll do the final verse for Set It Offs tomorrow, guys. If you want to see other singing clips, I have a playlist on my YouTube. If you could put your favorite emotes, your favorite animated emotes in the chat, that'd be great. Okay. I'll do the final verse for tomorrow. This is one of my favorite ones. <clears throat> oh, I've been obsessed in search of success. Been blinded by the light. Sometimes you are the spider. Sometimes you are the flying towards the sky. Our starting line. Cause we've got tomorrow. Where the page is in the wind. We've got tomorrow. Where the tail that lies within. There's always another day. Another night. Another. Wait. A bittersweet blessing in disguise tomorrow. With the authors of our lives tomorrow. Oh, that was nice. That was pretty good. Not to glaze myself up, but that was decent. I don't know why I botched the last line. <laughs> it already said another twice. Why did I say it again? Classic. Okay, guys. Thank you for redeeming Cole Bobo. Does anybody want to do calligraphy? This is your guys' no joke last call. Any redeemers or gifters? Tomorrow We're the authors of our lives Tomorrow Tomorrow, tomorrow, oh, 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 tomorrow, tomorrow, oh, 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 oh. sorry, it's, it's too pretty. <laughs> Listen to the song, Tomorrow by Set It Off. It's, it's so good. The feature vocalist they have for that song is really pretty. Talking about things that are pretty, guys, I'm doing a subathon this Saturday. Gift subs and you can make me never end stream. <laughs> I mean 12 hour cap, of course. Hand reveal. If you want me to write your name, I gotta do is use your channel points. Smile. I also have to speed run because I gotta go. I gotta catch the bus. I dropped the turn. not gonna say that because that is a dumb song. I ain't gonna do it. Mm -mm. It's a bop? If you're 12! For not even 12, like 6. It still hit, bruh. Thank you, Kobobo, for redeeming any last minute stallers. Last call. 
Use your channel points and I'll write your name for free. Ain't no way. Dude, stop stalling. <laughs> Bruh. Here, I gave you puke green because I'm mad. <laughs> Peace ain't you love. <laughs> it's so good. Dude, I hate how like the little clear straps stick out. It's so dumb. You guys have five seconds, or you're in big trouble. Okay, guys. I'm gonna wrap it up here for today. Thank you all for watching. I gotta go do shit. I gotta go prep for Saturday stream. I should be again tomorrow with a 9 to 5 work sim if I'm not tired. So make sure if you're following, you have notifications turned on. That way you don't miss it in any other future stream I do. And if you are a real peace in underscore 70 fan, you're gonna subscribe to my YouTube channels. I have a main channel with weekly stream highlights and then a clips channel for daily YouTube shorts and clips from stream. I'm also gonna be uploading like mid-length highlights um, soon on the clips channel. Like... Um, five to thirty minute videos that can't be like that wouldn't be like good enough for a main channel video so more content coming soon on the clips channel and if you want to keep up to date with stream stuff or me follow my instagram twitter and tiktok real fans follow every single one if you don't you are a fake fan okay i had fun today sag goodbye gwen <laughs> i'm gonna change the vod title to saying goodbye to gwen I did not- I did a sleep that was gonna- that was not gonna happen today. I was getting ready, I was like, no, in like, maybe five more hours in game, but no, it was today. I'm gonna go cry. Just kidding. I- okay, honestly, I did not get too attached to Gwen. That's why I'm like, it'd be different if whenever you talk to the characters, they had more dialogue, but the only time they literally have more dialogue when you talk to them is when they're hungry. Like, you, you can't just, like, farm don donations. You can't farm dialogue off of them. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. Okay, I will see you guys tomorrow with probably a 9 to 5 sim. If not, I'll see you guys Saturday. Thank you for the follow today. Plus one, everybody. Um, have a good rest of your day. Smile. Goodbye, guys. <laughs>